Namaste everyone, my name is Vero and in this video course I'm going to teach you how to do jump back and jump through. It looks like this. We do this uh, jump back, jump through in Ashtanga Yoga and uh, some of the Vinyasa classes. This is quite challenging. So in this class, uh, I'm going to teach you some of the strategy or uh, some of the drills which can help you to improve your jump back and jump through. Remember, this is quite challenging. It will take time. So I want to show you just uh, the pattern and the right way so you will not get any kind of injuries in the future so just pay attention and uh, please just pay attention where you are right now in your own practice and practice safe now here we begin now start with the warm-up so first is your hands your wrist interlock your fingers like so and rotate one two so this is a gentle move just pay attention toward your wrist joint three four and five now opposite side one two do not over stretch three four and five now work with the four arm muscles now come to the Tabletop, come to knees and your palms. Now here, pay attention. We are working with the forearm muscles. Okay. Now come to the fingertips like this, and shift the weight over the hand. It's up to you how much weight you want. So just listen to your body. Now from here, slowly your knuckles of the fingers down, and keep half of the weight here on your index knuckle, and then your wrist bone down. So think of half of the weight here, knuckles of the finger and half of the weight on your wrist. And notice how you're feeling in your forearms. Now from here again, come to the fingertip, then knuckles of the fingers down and wrist bone down. Now continue three. Must uh, go with your own pace. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now from here, pay attention. Your index knuckle keep pressing down, and one only lift your wrist up and down. Two up and down three up and down too much don't put too much weight on your hand just listen to your body four but final little challenge five six half of the weight on knuckles of the finger half the weight on your wrist seven eight nine really pay attention toward your four arms and ten that's good release shake your hands you can feel the effect here in your forearms now next one we are going to work the legs this part so come to the knees and your elbow like this first now from here now see what i'm doing i am pushing my elbows down and back okay when i do this accent pushing the elbow down and back then i'm thinking i'm pushing my ribs forward so you can notice this part so you have to focus here so keep your shoulder away from the ear and chest slightly in and then try to target your legs so 
now come to the nation of harms and uh, what not to do don't do this okay don't rock your shoulders front or back so now from here your chest rips slightly in and 10 time one then relax then two then three rips in good four five six seven shoulders back chest pushing forward seven good eight nine and ten good release good so pushing the elbow down and back and think of your dry shape moving in not out just remember if your elbow is moving back you cannot use the legs so keep the elbow your dry shape in and use the your legs okay now one more round 10 time okay so this one is just for the concentration and rip slightly in and begin one two three you know you can feel your core four five six seven eight nine and ten good swing your arms side to side Now from here, next is a plank hold. So the plank hold, you're paying attention toward the core from the front side and the back. So come to the lower plank feet together. So keep your shoulder away from the ear, ribs in, and sitting bone, tailbone, gently drop down. And sense your core from the front side and the back. So stay here for 10 count, one, do and think of uh, you are holding the posture on your elbows and your toes four five six seven do not lift your hips up eight try to lengthen your tailbone toward your heel nine and ten good now lower the knees good relax your arms swing side to side good now next one is cat cow so in this stretch you must pay attention how you working with the pelvis okay now from here so your spine is neutral and one Drop your belly down, paying attention toward the pelvis, how you're tilting your pelvis front or the back, okay? Lifting your sitting bones, tailbone up, then exhale, dropping down. Must pay attention how you're tilting your pelvis back in the front. Three. Four. Notice that how you're dropping your tailbone down under. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and release now next step is uh, come to the boat pose in a boat pose you no need to straight like this okay slightly bent that's fine now here what i want you notice your pelvis this part now see what not to do not do like this okay you have to tilt the pelvis backward then it will be easy to 
lift the thighs up toward the chest. That's what we are looking for. We need thighs and chest, the abdomen, close to each other as possible, not away from each other. Okay, so tilt the pelvis under or tilt the pelvis backward. Okay, like this. Then you will notice also when you tilt the pelvis backward, you no need too much strength from your front of the hips you're not going to lock so you first find this and it will really take time okay if you feel it's, it's too much just take support and just learn how to tilt the pelvis and how to bring the knee toward the chest and upward so here you can cross your ankles now when I say the ankle it's actually not the ankle is little more up toward the shin okay not here so from here cross the shin and thighs toward your abdomen knee toward the chest and knees coming back and upward okay so tilt the pelvis and hold here now from here your legs push your front leg back in toward the hips so compact yourself as much you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, release. Maybe shake your legs. It's quite challenging. Okay, now we will do two more round. So each time we will hold around 30 seconds. Now again, cross your shin knee toward the chest and up and hold like this and if you feel it's too much then take support okay but compact yourself as much you can push your heels toward the hip stay here keep pushing your lower belly in toward the spine and that's a kind of engagement but don't overdo otherwise it's uh, difficult to breathe five four three two and one good release all right shake your legs remember if you need uh, more rest so take your time now third round Cross the legs and uh, tilt the pelvis back and hold 30 seconds. Face front, shoulders back, ribs in. Your jump back jump through is not uh, easy so you have to make effort five four three two and one that's good release shake your legs i know you can feel your burning and uh, that's normal everyone have that kind of feel great now next step before we lift our hips up and sifting the weight on your hand it's very important to understand your hand position so the for example just watch come to the knees and your palms like this okay so shoulders almost over the wrist maybe your hands little more wider than the shoulders width a little more wider but make sure it's not too close and not too wide okay now from here you pay attention you have to pay attention this part index knuckle the reason is your inner wrist are stronger than the outer and the first thing your wrist is 
not too strong like ankle okay so just pay attention keep the weight on your inner wrist as possible outer wrist here this part is the weakest part and if you're not putting weight here is mean your weight is coming here and it can be cause for wrist pain so pay attention here so after you understand how to press your index knuckle down now understand you are controlling your shoulder from here so paying attention toward your index knuckle and see your elbow moving slightly in like this okay not outside slightly in slightly in so when you do this rotation from your elbows you can notice your shoulders is coming forward as you can see my shoulder and we don't want this we want our shoulder back because i told you if your triceps moves out shoulders moves forward you cannot use the lat okay so here is something a spiral going on in your hand so understand you pressing your index knuckle your elbows moving in but at the same time you have to focus on the shoulder shoulder is back okay so it's a kind of a spiral in your hand so again you can see my elbow in now see my shoulders back now from here i can show you not this okay so elbows in by pressing index knuckle your shoulders back and ribs in so again connect your shoulders with the back engage your lat this muscle if you cannot engage this one is going to be very tough for you okay if you're not using a strength here so you have to use the strength from somewhere else and is tough so must you understand how to work with hand so just do few round press your index knuckle your elbow moving in and shoulder back ribs in then again relax and engaged relax and engaged relax and engaged relax and engaged and hold 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 and shoulders little forward little forward so keep the focus on index knuckle you are controlling your shoulder with the index knuckle okay our focus shoulders back because we want to use the legs as possible we can so stay here shoulders slightly forward five four three two and one release i want you especially pay extra attention on this part because most of the students they do the mistake here and after jumping come through they feel because of uh, not good engagement here so they feel have the pain and that's we don't want okay now do it one more time from here press your index knuckle and control the shoulders shoulders back ribs in and really lean forward slightly and feel you are using your legs even if you want a little more challenge so lift your knee off the mat so your core is strong really press five that's good four chest ribs in three stay two and one lower the knees so you can see the preparation is tough and actually jump back jump through is uh, when you know how to do it then you will understand the process is tough then actual jump back jump through because that one just take quick time just jump back and jump through but the preparation and understanding behind that's very important and tough 
okay now once you know how to engage the shoulders and the lats and how to work with the hand now the next step how to lift the hips up next challenge sitting position remember how to tilt the pelvis back and cross your shin knees close to the chest now from here your hand position behind the feet and front of the hip is here okay so here you go with the counting so your position itself this one is one okay two is your feet off the mat remember this position knee back and up and till the pelvis so second position this one first one two and three now see lean forward and lift the hips off the mat but keep your knee close to the chest up and down now this is the toughest part most of you when you lift your hips now see your knee will move forward something like this and that's okay but you have to focus on this your goal is this compact yourself okay so five time so even if you cannot lift your hip for example if you cannot lift your hip don't think you are your hands are short no it's not because those are the those who have the short hand even they can do this one really believe me because uh, i have seen my students now if you cannot lift your hips and your feet so just try like this but make effort maybe touch only one foot okay so we will do this one five time now begin so the first position here second feet up and third lift and hold one two three four and five down that's good relax your hand remember if you put the weight here you're going to feel pain keep the weight here index knuckle now again prepare yourself first position second feet up and third lean forward press one two three four and five and down good maybe relax like this shake legs good again cross your legs compact yourself first position second lean forward and up one two three four and five that's good relax your hands you can see it's difficult for me so it's difficult for everybody two more time okay now take position set your hand first position second lift your feet and up one good two face front three four and five down that's good shake your legs your arms now last one cross your legs set your palms second position feet up and third up one two three continue breathing four and five down that's good relax take time okay relax okay so this part lifting the hips off the mat is tough i want you just stick with this one and remember do not use your blocks because with the blocks is easy to lift but uh, when you feel it's easy to lift uh, you will stop to using your strength we want to build the strength okay so keep it this one like this even you cannot lift your feet just lifting the hips that's fine but just keep trying okay and uh, we will practice long time to build this strength so stick with the method now understand the breathing pattern okay now when you inhale don't just lift your hip like this 
it will be difficult to inhale proper so think of your inhaling half first before you lift the hip then end of the inhalation you are lifting the hip so if something is like this inhale okay but not to do so your breathing becomes very short so inhale first little then almost half inhalation when you reach then lift the hip okay so inhalation then exhalation is swing the hip back so it looks like like this so in the first time of course you cannot reach back so we want just little so from here inhale and exhale <clears throat> that's it you have to bring the feet between your hand you have to lean forward lean forward okay so compact yourself first knee to the chest heels close to the hip and inhale up and exhale stay here and then release more you compact like this is easy to swing the hip back comparison to if your heels is away from the hip see how much distance here now when you lift up you will really stuck so you have to compact yourself and inhale up and exhale when you do exhale lean forward slightly and try to bring the feet in between your hand so go with the baby steps okay so do this one five time so cross the feet your shin compact yourself first position your hand second feet up and third inhale up and exhale lean and then release okay now second cross set your palm lift the feet up inhale up and exhale and down now three inhale up and exhale and down go two more compact yourself inhale and exhale and down good last one cross the ankles your shin then inhale up exhale and down now the previous drill we learned how to lift the hips and uh, swing the hips back and bring the feet almost between the hand now after this drill try this set your palms on the mat and bring your feet close to the hand as possible but in the beginning don't bring your feet between the hand okay so keep your feet slightly back but not too much so walk your feet forward i want your thighs almost touching your abs okay so we want this part compact so like this you can see i'm bending the knee and uh, my pelvis tilting backward the same thing like this okay we don't want this focus on this and uh, thighs close to the abdomen okay so now from this position notice your shoulders shoulders is back and engage the legs round the back round the back now from here the challenging part come lean forward like this and try to make your toes your legs light and back okay so compact yourself press your palms down and lean forward come to the toe and back then three lean forward and back more for compact lean press and back got last one five shift maximum weight over the hand 
and back that's good release relax your arms so must understand your pelvis is still tilting back your thighs is still close to the chest you're still compact but the difference is your hips above the shoulder means higher than the shoulder it's different position okay so here you learn how to use the strength how to shift the weight of the hand so we will do this one one more round and this time i want you try this this is a one more further step okay so after cross your feet like this okay elbow straight lean forward i want you lean enough forward so you can do counter balance then you can lift your feet off the mat so like this lean forward press and down press and down now see i'm not hopping actually i'm not doing this i'm leaning enough forward and pressing through my hand so again if your thighs moves away from the abdomen is tough so compact yourself and lean in a forward so you can do a little counterbalance you can lift the feet up by pressing your hands down but in the beginning if you feel it too much come to the tip of the toe but sense the you're shifting the weight over the hand you're pressing through the hand then second step you can hop just a little in the beginning so feel that you're shifting the weight over the hand for a sec half second like this pressing so lean in a forward press if you hop from here you cannot control because shoulders is not enough forward you have to lean in a forward so you can feel that you're shifting the weight over the hand okay so do as many times you can okay so right now we are doing five times so cross the feet so you choose your options so after either you lift the toes or you can hop or you can just press okay so i'm going for the press one so shifting the weight forward compact yourself and one press two press three press four press and five that's good so after five just relax now next step once you learn how to hop or how to lift the feet by pressing your hand down now the next step is how to push your legs back by using your hand come to the squat like this and set your hands elbow slightly bent now slightly bent and lean and see from here press through the hand lean and so lean in a forward for the counterbalance so you can push yourself back okay repeat so slightly bent elbow lean in a forward so you can counterbalance and push yourself back get this feel how to push back so do a few more time lean forward and push back lean forward push back feel that how you using the shoulders to push your feet back now once you have idea how to push your feet back by using your arms once you have this kind of awareness from the shoulder now the next step you take towel okay so i'm going to show you okay so take your towel like this and just watch first so the for example 
you are here cross leg knee close to the chest compact yourself now see what i'm doing so think of you leaning forward and your feet is up so right now one foot is up but just imagine your both feet is up either you hop or either you just press okay so lift your one foot right now so from here you think you're doing hop your one foot your both feet is up so think your both feet is up your weight is on the hand this is very important when your feet is off the mat on the air then quarter bent your elbow so for example you are here you hop your feet up so as your feet goes up on the air quarter bend the elbow you're leaning forward okay doing counter balance remember this one leaning forward then push back is easy then straighten the elbow and push back so you hop or lift one foot and quarter bend your elbow now from here slide your feet back to chaturanga okay again if you are doing hop okay so bent elbow and shoot the leg back so if the counting method cross here your is a first position second hop bend the elbow and third position okay so one is hop and two bend the elbow your feet down and then chaturanga now do five time okay cross the feet you can do with the just one foot so from here hop bend the elbow and shoot good and five time two hop bend the elbow and shoot three hop bend the elbow and shoot good two more four hop bend the elbow quarter and shoot good last one hop bend the elbow and shoot so you learn this one how to bend the elbow when your feet is off the mat so it will help you to counterbalance you will feel your landing is more smooth now it's a time for how to jump back so we will combine all our techniques uh, all drills together and see how it looks like so first just watch remember your first one is this how to come back feet is off the mat set the palm second lifting the hips up and with exhale lean forward and bring the feet between the hand so it looks like this up here now from here hands never change okay never moves now from here walk the feet back now you are in this one position okay now from here what you doing leaning forward and hop chaturanga so walk your feet slightly back bend the elbow and hop back chaturanga okay so from here compact first inhale exhale move and chaturanga so do this one five time okay and just remember you don't need to push too much yourself do everyday practice five time 
or maximum seven or eight times. Don't do too much. Okay, more focus on the technique and the day by day it will get better. Now, once you know how to lift the hip and uh, then how to move the feet back slightly and then hop to Chaturanga. So now from here things get a uh, little easier to do this one. Okay, now we want to sharpen the skill. Now the next one, after walking the feet back, you try to just uh, touch only one foot, not the two. Okay, for example, from here inhale, up, exhale, you are here, you're walking the feet back, right? So you try not to contact your two feet try only the one foot as possible so from here you are inhale up exhale see one foot this one foot is still up so try to slide instead of walking okay try to slide one foot which is upper this one behind it stays up it's not touching only this one foot touch which is down and try to slide back okay so for example you are here compact inhale up and exhale <laughs> see slide slide and back so this one is little more challenging than walking the feet back so once you go in walk back then try this one slide one foot is up and one foot really push in and back so this is your second rail okay you have to master this one and try five times six times now next drill now you already learn how to walk the feet back and hop then after that uh, how to slide now i'm sure you're getting more strong your strength is good and your momentum is good coordination is good now the next step is called tap so instead of uh, sliding the foot now try to reach that point where you need really support to transfer the weight kicking the legs back for example you are inhaling and up and exhale your feet is here now this point you are shooting the leg back now try to reach in this point somewhere this point just directly from from here back so try not to slide too much okay so the for example so cross the leg up and reach and back chaturanga then up dog and down the dog now this one is getting tough because instead of sliding too much let's slide then just tap and shoot the leg back then in this way you have to practice you sharpen the skill more more and more then your goal is do the same thing without touching your feet to the floor again the technique is the same but when you do again and again you're getting better you have more control over the your muscular engagement and that will lead you to lift the feet up without touching the mat you can shoot your legs back which is looks like this so it's take a lot of effort to lift the feet up and compact the body and shoot the legs back so it takes uh, many months years practice so at least uh, now you have some uh, pattern so just follow the pattern i want to see my student they fail two time 
10 times, 100 times, but I want to see they try at least, okay? If you try, definitely you will be different after few months. So keep writing this one. Now the next part, how to jump through. Jump through is a little easier than jump back. Okay, now here, because uh, most of the things we have already done, now the next step here for jump through. So remember your this position when you're crossing the leg and lifting the hips up right like this and down now i want this position you coming this position from downward dog so the for example you are here so now from downward facing dog i want first you walk your feet forward so your downward dog is little short okay it's small less distance between the hand and the feet now we want this position from downward dog. So downward dog, you hop and now see, till the pelvis, come to this position. The soft landing will happen if your shoulders is in a forward. Now see, huh? look at my shoulder. Now when I hop, my shoulders should move a little more forward. Remember this one. Your shoulder is here. Your shoulders is not here. For example, if I hop from here, it will be not control. It will be control when the counter weight is right. So you have to move your shoulders a little more forward. Be careful here how to engage the legs. Okay. So walk your feet forward and your shoulders should be here, okay? Now look between your hand and hop, compact and feet down. So your feet will tell you, if you have this sound, it means you don't have good control right now because if your counterbalance is good, you're pressing right way, then your landing will be a little soft, okay? So do this one five times from downward dog so if you can if you're good already then your downward dog is the standard so feet and hands distance to the right and if you feel it's a little you feel little scared to jump then walk if it's slightly forward just find it out where you are right now okay and just practice so five times so you are in downward dog look between your hands and hop compact and feet down. Down my dog, look between your hand and two. Good. Down my dog and three. Two more. Four. And five. Great. So always take your time. So because I'm practicing long time, so I can do five in a row. Maybe you will do only one or two, then take rest, then try again. Okay. Master, relax your hands. Now, next step, once you know how to hop from downward dog and bring the feet between your hand, then next step. From here, you know how to do this one. Now see my feet, okay? Now I want my feet more turned this way, okay? So you are coming almost this position. No more this position. This one you will stuck. You cannot slide and you want to slide the feet forward. So we want this position this okay so from here and see keep your arms strong knee to the chest remember the first position from here 
second so almost you coming to the second position then hips down then the feet so just reverse after sliding your feet forward you're not touching the feet okay not touching the hip just hold this position then hips down then your feet down okay so from here don't go dog again just watch so from here your feet okay turn out and keep pressing your palms knee to the chest and face front and then hips down again don't put your feet here like this it will, you will be stuck you cannot go forward you have to do like this then slide or even if you're in the beginning if you are here then change then try to slide forward remember I will show you this way for example you are here don't let your hips go just like this no you have that kind of uh, control okay means uh, you're not just letting your hips go down you have the control one of the force which is pushing you upward but your hips is coming down but you have the force which is pushing you up then have the control otherwise if you're just relaxing the hips you cannot control the move so this part contract okay use the strength from here to lift so your hips is coming down from up to down but it have the control it have that kind of lift and we want this so try this one five time so done my dog one hop and keep pressing slide hold and hips down okay go back two hop press and down do five time if you need rest you can take rest and three down if you can direct slide go for it four and down one more sometime if you use the towel on the floor it will might help you it's much easier to slide so you are here and down so just try many different different way and see which one works for you to slide but you should have the control your hips don't let it just drop down that's important now you already learned how to jump through so with the time when you're getting more stronger by strength and uh, your skills are better then with the time you will getting more better and better and uh, remember your aim is uh, jump through without touching your feet so it's need a lot of strength and the control so i'm going to show you how it looks like so just motivate you okay so you have something idea in mind what you want to achieve and down so even you slide that's little that's fine but try to compact yourself as much you can remember this one keep it a little bit more toward the shin so it might be a little more easier for you because we need here just even just little millimeter it is little up and it will help just a lot okay so now all the drills i show you must uh, pay attention how do it pay attention this is very important this is not easy okay be aware of your wrist 
keep the weight on the inside wrist not outside okay anytime if you think it's getting painful just stop your practice okay must pay attention pay attention toward the shoulders if your shoulders is not stable how you can hold the body weight on your hand it's very important the right engagement and it takes time and just stick with your method and i'm sure after few months when you see your own practice so make the video so you can compare from the first and uh, maybe after three months or the six months you can see the difference and uh, take your time and practice safe and uh, share your comments your experience and uh, thank you for watching we'll see you again namaste